These fucking steps. Uh, man, fuck this smell. Uh. All right, motherfuckers. I don't know fucking shout this is. Mark Noble, shout out there for every. I smell. I could smell this thing as I was walking. You have to walk past this thing to the shelter when you come in. I smelled it from the fucking trail when I came in last night. So I knew this was gonna be fucking horrible. The smell is unbearable. I mean, I do have the AT logo, the, the wood, and at least on the door, it looks newer, so I don't think it's that old, but man, it's fucking, there's no graffiti, it smells like fucking shit in here, I need to get the fuck out of this place before I pass out, 4 out of 10, not impressed at all. <laughs> Got a message last night from a YouTube subscriber. I know somebody, huge fan of mine, watches all my videos. She wanted to through hike this year, but bought a one-way ticket to Snap City. Fucked up her ankle, and her dreams of through hiking this year were over just like that. I know the fucking feeling because I had a third-degree ankle sprain two years ago, and it is not fucking fun. But you will get your ass back on the trail next year. I guarantee fucking tee it. So this one is for you, Amanda, a.k.a. Chubby. Good morning, you motherfucking sunshine. Ah, good morning, motherfucking sunshines. Um, yeah, a little snag in the plans this morning. Got a Instagram message from a hiker that I never heard of before saying, "Hey, you left your wallet at the ice cream shop hot dog stand in town yesterday." Fuck. I haven't done that before. I left my wallet behind. Was, I just mentioned the day before, like, man, I've never lost my, lost my wallet yet. Everybody else has lost their wallets and IDs fucking a million times. But my turn has come, so I'm just glad somebody contacted me. Fortunately, that hiker, I don't know. He, he, I looked at his page, his Instagram page. He's way back, like, 100 miles behind me. So I don't know what the fuck. He just didn't post pictures. But anyway, got a hold of the hot dog stand. She's going to mail it ahead to Bennington, Vermont. Uh, where I have to stop in, where I have another box waiting there. The only shit thing is like most post offices ask for your identification to pick up a package, and they're sending my ID. So just called the post office, said just ask for the supervisor. We'll, we'll get it taken care of, man. So that's a relief. But we are heading up in our three miles or so to finish up this Mount Greylock, and uh, it is overcast day. It is not raining, so hopefully we get some killer cloud views. From the top there and then it's downhill and then we are crossing two milestones today 1600 miles and that vermont border god damn it getting into vermud man that's gonna be fucking gnarly as hell but always awesome crossing over another state but let's get to the top of Greylock. see this killer goddamn view this morning man it's gonna be a good fucking day
I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that shit. That's got to be one of the best views to date, man. No joke. That is fucking unbelievable. Holy shit. Mount Greylock, man. Fucking unreal view. Awesome. Glad I forego coming up here last night when the fucking rains came in. Probably would have been a whiteout up here. Camp this morning. Fucking awesome cloud cover. Unreal, man. But right when I started to get off that fucking thing, the clouds rolled in on the uh, north side of the mountain. So it's getting pretty fucking dark right now. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but what the fuck ever. Uh, 10 miles to the Vermont, Massachusetts border, man. And then we are going to be camped probably just, uh, three miles past that, I think, is the next shelter. So, all right, let's try to get off Mount Grail like without busting our ass. These fucking rocks are pretty damn slick, so. Uh, God damn that view, man. Awesome. Uh, nice and cool this morning, man. I dig it. No mosquitoes. Flies were pretty bad up on Greylock, but nothing right now. Just passed a couple Sobos. Hazmat, one of them, recognized me from YouTube. Hey, I'd be trying. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. Hell yeah. He's like... Yeah, God damn it! I didn't leave till June. I was sitting there watching your ass at the office. Keep, you were keeping my ass sane, knowing I was going to be out there soon. I can relate, man. I was the same fucking way. And I remember, I planned this fucking hike for two goddamn years. So I was watching all these fucking hiking videos for two goddamn years straight. Just thinking every goddamn day. Soon enough, I will be out there. But it drives you fucking crazy. Knowing that people out there doing it and you're stuck at work still, but... He's out here fucking doing it now, man. And he's seen the best shit. It's a, one of the funny things, passing Sobos, there's like a, a, a communication we have without even fucking talking. It's like, you look at the motherfucker and you're like, the Sobos are like, man, that motherfucker's hiked almost 1,600 miles already. And then we're looking at the Sobos like, that motherfucker's been through the whites already. <laughs> so I don't know which is better. Of course, Nobos, motherfucker, God damn it. We've got the miles in us, plus we are in anticipation of the best shit to come, so. But, they'll have a good hike going south, man. I love getting, I mean, fucking, I'm from North Carolina, motherfucker. It's gorgeous down there. It's the reason why I live in the fucking Blue Ridge Mountains. Fucking gorgeous. Massachusetts is making you earn that fucking Vermont border, boy. Less than two miles. The fuck up this mountain, bitch. Yeah. Hey, Massachusetts, would it fucking kill you to build one goddamn hostel in your fucking state? We walk literally down the sidewalk of like three fucking towns. Us hiker trash can't afford your fucking hotels, man. Regardless, nice try, but I'm still here, bitch. All right, motherfuckers, I got cheesy crumbs in my beard. <laughs> Had a little celebratory stuff my goddamn face hole at the border. Hell yeah. Welcome to Vermont, goddammit. Home of Ben and Jerry's. Motherfuckers almost made me broke as fuck. I don't know if I've ever told this story, but at one point, 
this is a couple years ago. I had randomly, randomly looked at my bank statement for the month and discovered that I spent $400 on Ben and Jerry's in one goddamn month. <laughs> yeah, I got a slight ice cream addiction, man. Better than booze, I guess. Got that shit under control, though. Kind of. Still fuck up in town. I love ice cream, man. When... Here in Vermont, they got fucking factories for that shit, man. I can smell the cow shit already. But the celebration has not ended for the day because we are going to pick up that 1,600 mile mark in about three fucking miles. And that is where I'm camping tonight. So it took me a minute to get the legs warmed up again for sitting down. We'll get there, man. We'll see you at fucking camp. All right, motherfuckers, didn't quite make it. <laughs> 1,600 fucking miles. Good fucking day. Mount Greylock was awesome. Fucking hitting that Vermont border. 1,600 miles. I don't give a fuck that's raining. We'll holler at you motherfuckers in the morning. <laughs>